Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In today's video for Elementor for WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at a new feature that's been added to this already very powerful visual editor for WordPress. Now, if you're not familiar with Elementor, I'd recommend checking out the previous videos I've done where I'll introduce you to this plugin, show you how to use it and how to get the best out of it. But in this video, we're going to take a look at the latest new major update they've added, and that's the ability to edit mobile layouts directly in the editor that will adjust various different elements depending upon the type of screen that's being viewed. Now, this is a great way of making sure that your website displays the way that you intended to, not the way that the theme developer intended it to on the different types of devices. So let's take a look at the back end of our WordPress install. Let's take a look at how we can use this and how we can get the best out of our websites quickly and easily using Elementor. So let's start off by switching over to the admin part of our website. So we just switch over. As you can see, I'm already in the pages section and I've got the home page already laid out. Now we took a look at this in the previous video, I showed you to make the full page layout. So if you want to see how to do that, I recommend checking out the link that's in the description below. So let's go in and open up the home page to start working on that and seeing these new features we have as part of the Elementor editor. So to start off with, let's just switch the Elementor editor on. So we'll switch that, invoke that, and then we'll take a look at the page that we created previously. So everything looks the way you expect it to. All the elements are there as we'd normally expect. So let's click on, for example, this text block. That'll bring up the options on the left-hand side that allow us to edit the way this text block appears. So we can put our text in there, your normal text editor, all the things you're used to. But if we switch over to styles, you can see we have an extra option available. If we take a look at alignment, for example, you can see we've got a little icon that shows a monitor screen. And we've got the same with size, line height, letter spacing. We come to advanced, you can see we've got margins and padding, and all different options are available in the different sections that allow us to go through and adjust this on a mobile level. So what do I mean? Let's come back to the style, for example. Now at the moment, everything is aligned to the left, which is great. But we could say that on a different type of device, for example, a mobile phone, which is smaller, we wanted the text to apply centered or justified or right aligned. Or we could change the font color. We could do a lot of different things with this. So if we click on the alignment, for example, and click on this little icon, you can see we now open up three icons in total. The first one is your normal desktop screen. The second one is a tablet layout. And the third and final one is a mobile phone. And you can see alignment, size, line height, and let space in automatically open those up for us as well. So we can also do this by coming into the bottom on the left-hand side and where we've got the second icon in for responsive mode, we can click on there and we can choose from the three different devices like we used to be able to. But this will automatically then invoke that set of icons for us and highlight whichever one we're currently using. So for example, when I switch over to tablet mode, you can see our screen now displays as if it's being viewed on a typical tablet. So the beauty of working like this is the fact that we can make changes to any element on our page or the various different elements on our page that have this option available. And that will only apply to the device we've got selected. So for this example, we've got the tablet selected. So if I make changes to the text alignment, for example, or the size of the text, that will only make a change when anyone views this on a device that fits the parameters for being a tablet. So let's say that I make an adjustment to the, the text size. So at the moment, we've got the default and whichever one we look at will show the same. So let's make this text slightly larger for tablets. Now it's worth noting that if I switch over to a mobile now, the text size is the same size as it was on the tablet because this is actually flowing down through the CSS style sheet. So what I can do is I can easily come in and choose a different font size on this. Let's set that to say, for example, 15. And now switching between, you can see the font sizes change as we'd expect them to. Default on the desktop. Tablet has a much larger font. And switch to the mobile, and we've gone to a smaller font. So it's a very quick and easy way of being able to customize simple elements like the text and so on on a device by device basis. Okay, so next up, I want to show you how we can deal with column order. So if we take a look at the layout, you can see I've got two columns, 50% each. We've got an image on the right hand side and a text column on the left. Now, if we switch over to mobile responsive and we go to the mobile device, you'll see that everything aligns itself nicely. But the problem we have is that the image sits below the text, which in this example doesn't make a lot of sense because the description or the text is a description of the photograph. 
So we need to reorder that. But if we do it where you think you put column one at the beginning, then obviously that's going to cause a bit of a problem. So let's just switch back over to desktop mode a second. Uh, we'll come up and we'll say section. And then if we come to advanced and we go to responsive, we have the option at the top that says reverse columns. And that'll do exactly as the name suggests. It'll reverse the order of the columns for us. So if we now just change that to yes, nothing happens when we're dealing with the desktop view. And if we go over to tablet view, because the columns are still side by side, everything displays as you'd expect it to. But once we switch to mobile, the image now sits at the top and the column one, the text, sits underneath it. So we can very quickly and easily reorder the columns based upon the device that's actually viewing them. So when they do go into a stacked row, uh, sorry, stacked columns, they automatically reorder themselves. So we can do this on a section by section basis so we can get a really fine level of control over doing this and ordering our columns of information based upon the device that's been viewed on. So I'm gonna wrap up our overview of this new add-on for Elementor. It's a really great way of being able to develop your website based upon the type of device that your viewer is going to be using and making sure that it looks great on all of those devices where you get a real great level of control. So just remember, when you're working with Elementor, anywhere you see the little symbol that shows you those three different icons, you can use that to adjust that particular parameter on the device that's being used. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.